Whether you're playing video games or looking for roadside bombs in a war zone, robot technology is everywhere, and this is the cutting edge. Companies from around the world have come to show off the machines like Ginger the Geobot, which they say will shape our lives in the future. Ginger uses laser sensors to find its way around in any environment, and it's going to show us around. Coming through. Tony Didato is from CCS Robotics who design and build these machines. Tony, what are they used for? Uh, we typically find a very uh, wide use in hospitals and other health healthcare facilities. Uh, this one, for example, would escort patients uh, to various points in the hospital. Uh, we also have a lot of courier applications that will deliver pharmaceuticals and specimens throughout a hospital and a hospital lab environment. And they both use the same autonomous base uh, navigation system. And on the screen is what the robot can see around it. Exactly. Uh, the map you're seeing here was actually created by the robot. And the blue information, the blue dots that you're seeing are actually the live laser data that it used to create it. The military is using robots more and more. Machines like this, it's called a Packbot with two fixed cameras and a fully remote controlled robotic arm designed to go places that soldiers can't. Charlie Vider is from iRobot who design and build these machines. What kind of things can they do? Uh, well, these robots are used by the military for bomb disposal missions. They can also be used by the infantry for reconnaissance, investigating suspicious objects. So what it's doing is it's sending the robot into the situation, keeping soldiers at safer distances. I guess there's no substitute for a real soldier, though. They are limited in what they can do. Right, but what they're doing is they're going into a dangerous situation and keeping the soldiers safer. Um, so in essence, these robots are actually helping to save lives. Certainly the days of robots being very, very expensive in these closed off rooms, basically welding cars and paintings, refrigerators are over. They're becoming much more mobile now and they're interoperating with people in unstructured environments like the one behind me. So that's becoming more common. What you're going to see now is robots start proliferating in everyday life, but people might, might not know it. The biggest advances are probably going to be in mobility. They're going to become much, much more mobile as opposed to uh, the robots we talked about earlier, industrialized robots, which just were fixed. They're going to become uh, also much more autonomous. Autonomy drives down costs and it gives you greater functionality. So there's a big push now to make things more autonomous. According to the Guinness Book of Records, this is the most advanced robotic arm in the world. So far it's been used in precision surgery and manufacturing, and it's designed to work as closely with the person operating it as possible. It's a little bit more difficult than it looks, but like most of the robots here, it's a lot of fun to play with.